Hi. Is it that time again? <laughs> yes, it is. It is that time again. Hey, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful Merry Christmas. And it's time for Monday morning mail call. And I'm going to stick with that as I filmed this on Monday. Yes, that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Happy Tuesday, everyone. All right, well, uh... I'm going to get my microphone. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me better now? <laughs> I hope he's not going to talk like that through the whole video. Um, yeah, and th even this is, I know you have to turn up your speakers a little bit with this. This this. I like this new lapel mic, but for some reason, the sensitivity of the microphone is like completely different than any other microphone in existence. So I always have to like, you know, bump its levels up and da da da, -da and to get it to even function properly. Um, all right, well, uh, so it's Monday morning, uh, and <laughs> we're going to be unboxing some boxes. I have multiple boxes uh, to unbox. Uh, first, uh, let's talk about my jacket, because I got this for Christmas. Isn't it cool? It's, it's fur-lined. It came from Old Navy. My wife got it for me, and the only reason I got it, of course, was because it was on sale. I'm looking at myself in the thing, sorry. I said constant. Maybe if I move this, oh, this may cause some, some, some instability for a second. No, no, stabilize camera. It's on a gooseneck. Uh, all right, there we go. Is that better? Because now I'm kind of like not looking over to one side. Okay, so um, yeah, let's let's open some boxes, shall we? Let me take my glasses off because okay, I'm trying to trying to you know stage it so I look like I'm just getting here, even though you know that I had to turn on the camera. Yeah, you got that right. That was a whole tricky thing. All right, so um, in the mail today we got another thing from Comcast Business. Uh, this one almost looks like a bill. It says dated material, important information enclosed. We better open this up quick and find out what it is that they're so they're so important that we need to get important business information about your Comcast business account required to avoid disconnection of service. Oh, actually, this is a real thing. Uh, well, you know, I thought we just talked to them on the phone. I guess this was probably sent out. Yes, this was dated December 19th. Apparently, with all the ho holiday things going on, somehow we, we managed to not uh, pay our current bill. But, uh, and then, of course, they send you a thing for the, the last month's bill plus the current bill, so it makes it look like you're really, really late. Like, yeah, we've never really been late more than just, like, 10 days, but okay. All right. Um, first of all, we got a Hobby World. This is number one, 184. And, uh, of course, in Spanish, and I will do a turning the page on this with lots of Many, many bad pronunciations in Spanish later. Uh, then we also got from Pla Editions, also in Spain. Apparently ever, all publications come from Spain, didn't we? Didn't, didn't someone get the memo? <laughs> they, they do put out quite a few nowadays. Uh, we got Abram Squad, number 13, which is going to be a lucky issue, right? Uh, so this one is uh, got top-notch modeling, Zil 131, Zoo uh, 23, Ramzan JBA diorama art. Oh, JBA diorama art in this one. Hey, we know JBA. Hey, JBA, how's it going? Uh, <laughs> all right, so um, then we got this box, which comes to us from, I'm going to say TACOM <laughs> because of the way it's wrapped, although they don't put the company name on it for some reason. I hope my lighting's okay. Let me, let me and I know it's like I look partially. If I, if, I, if I open my blinds, we'll get the, uh, all right, there we go. Okay. Like it, like I know this is like super white here. All right, so um, we will go at this. Have at you! It's, it's prepared for submersion. It has submersion stuff. It would be bad if I cut myself on live, uh, especially as a hobbyist. Cutting yourself with a, any kind of knife would be bad, embarrassing. Let's hope that never happens, right? We don't want that to happen, do we? You guys don't want me to cut myself. Uh, all right. Ugh. So in this box, <laughs> I mean, they've got it. They then have got it individually. Oh, this actually might be from Meng, because Meng does this. No? Tacom, okay. Uh, we've got the new Krupp 420 millimeter Big Bertha Cannon. In 135th scale, correct? Yes, 135th scale. So that looks really nice. Big, big box with lots of uh, uh, color camo schemes for it. Three, three of them on here. 
And uh, so that should be interesting. I have to continue on. This is definitely World War One flavor, I believe. All righty. What else did they send us? They sent us like boxes within boxes here. Seriously, these are like two boxes stuck together. <laughs> You make it challenging for me, why don't you? Yes. It's an interesting way to do it, though. To Instead of sending one smaller or two smaller boxes, they, they glue, glue them together. Or tape them together, obviously. Glue them together, yes. They used plastic glue to glue them together. Well, I hope you guys got many models for Christmas. So do the retailers who, you know, help support us. But come on. <laughs> Disconnect. Ah, my mic. Goodness. This has to be the most challenging box open ever. The shipping department at Tacom is trying to, they're trying to embarrass me on live television. I know it's not television. It's YouTube. On live YouTube. <laughs> really, this is just like. Urgh. I may edit this out. Okay, now we're back, right? <laughs> oh, by the way, for anybody um, curious, my Hero Four Session camera. I still haven't used it. Yeah, um, I, I finally just got the uh, some accessory that I needed for it. Um, Oh, I also needed my better uh, storage card because I had a 16 gigabyte, but the 16 gigabyte was only going to give me like X amount of minutes at high resolution. All right, so now we have the M9 Ace. This is kind of cool. U.S. Armored Combat Earth Mover. Dirt Diggler. That's a movie reference. <laughs> In case anybody's wondering. Um, very cool looking, you know. I mean, that's definitely uh, definitely some unique some unique armored uh, support vehicle. So we'll uh, sort of try to get a unboxing of that one. My goodness, what the, what the mess. All right, so moving on. These boxes have been sitting here since before Christmas because I wasn't doing a thingy last week, obviously. I've already seen a lot of the back of my head. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I could do this this way. I can roll my card out here. See, this is what you call production as it happens. Live, live on YouTube. All right, so yeah, we'll do it this way. There, see, now I can talk to you guys. Hi, how's it going? This is like, you know what I see, I detect here already? Oh wait, actually, maybe not. I thought I was detecting two boxes, but is it two boxes? No, no, it's not two boxes. This is from MIG. And they sent us, I'm sure, some of their new paint sets and such. And maybe some new books. Because this is a very, very heavy box. This box probably cost a lot to send. Thanks, Mig. I'm just going to cut this sucker open. And hopefully not hit any, bo any book stuff. Uh, so immediately I've got popcorn. Yay! <laughs> popcorn. Um... What do we got? We got Argentinian Colors, Volume 1. Mm. Um, we've got U.S. Navy World War II Colors. These are all four-color sets. Uh, we've got 60 to 70 U.S. Air Force TAC Colors. Also Vietnam Era. And we've got Space Fighters. <laughs> Uh, just in time for Star Wars. Sci-fi colors for your spaceships. Like how they have like one color tacked on. Oh wait. Yeah, I'm not sure that was supposed to be on there. We had leakage. We had leakage. Oh no. Yeah, this this one is not tacked onto the box. <laughs> this one unfortunately did looks like it might have leaked in shipment because it does have or something leaked next to it. Unfortunately. And no, it wasn't because I punctured anything. Um, I think it's actually something that might have leaked inside the package. Let me see if I can figure this mystery out. Because it's... What one is this? I mean, this one looks secure, but then again, maybe not. Uh, acrylic color or something. Whatever it is, it's very sticky. 
and black. This is why the postal services don't like sending things through the mail. It's liquid. All right, so then we have a lot of uh, small individual ones. And uh, this one got a little bit of on there. So we got some metal acrylic colors. Uh, metal acrylic color, which is looks like that. And uh, we've got their just standard acrylic colors, which I'll... Um, again, these are available for uh, usage reviews and things like that. So if you're interested in doing a kind of comprehensive... Uh, or project, use it with a project, you know. Um, a lot of colors here, though. Uh, splashes, is that something new? I don't remember seeing that before. Splash, it, 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 get it going the right way. Eh. Splashes by Ammo by Mink. Uh, and this one's Heavy Mud. Heavy Mud Splashes. Let me do these quick. A lot heavy, have different, different Heavy Mud colors. Yeah, these are all Splashes and Heavy Mud. All right, so, moving onward. Got like loose ground, turn dirt, wet ground, a lot of different variations. There are two boxes here. There's boxes within boxes. Everybody's doing it to me this week. I'm gonna take out all this talking in the morning. So, uh, anything else new? Um, what did I get for Christmas? Mostly movies and. Nothing really. I actually asked for a model. I asked for a Star Wars X-Wing Bandai kit. Yeah, it was out of stock. Hmm. These are those like crease, not, not crease, but the, the, the boxes with the weird folds and stuff. Not the best kind of boxes to ship things in. All right, so the rest of this is books, as I kind of calculated. And eventually, we'll get in here. I might actually seriously edit this one because it's taking too long to get into packages. This is taking too long. But then again, you guys miss all my, my fun banter. You'll have to leave, leave a message in the comment section letting me know if you like all this fun banter. If not, if you find it boring and or, or you know, whatever, then I will take your, your comments into consideration. For future videos. Uh, no, not probably. <laughs> Seriously, I probably won't. <laughs> Gotta remember, I do these for... Con Mostly this is done for convenience because I want to like just show stuff that we're getting. But it also takes a while to produce the video, obviously. I have to render it and so forth and edit it. And these I try to keep, just like the turning the page, I try to keep them down to like no edits or no internal edits. That way they're just fluid and I don't have to worry about going back through it and re-watching it all myself. So, yeah. All right, so we've got the Weathering Magazine, which is current issue. This one is uh, Heavy Metal, uh, issue number... Uh, I don't put the numbers on here like they should. I'm not sure which issue this is, because it doesn't say on the front. But we have a lot of um, a lot of Star Wars-y references in this one. Um, yes, yes, if anybody's quick on that, that is Meg's... Is it his wife now, or is the girl still girlfriend? I, I can't remember. Um... I should know because I'm friended with her on Facebook. But yeah, they 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 did they st staged the whole scene there. I wonder if that's a C-3PO model they have in the background. Um, but yeah, there's all sorts of cool stuff in this one. We will do f turning the pages, most certainly. Uh, then we have a new uh, black and white technique. Now this is cool because um, I first saw this technique done uh, back when I first started the website. There was a guy... I think he's gotten out of the hobby at least a few years later i think he did but uh but he did an amazing black and white sherman pacific uh diorama in black and white trees beach scene uh sherman coming on onto the land and, and uh, soldiers and so forth and it was just done so well it was just it was really notable now these this book probably captures that that similar technique although i don't see any dioramas in here i see mostly just vehicles but yeah we'll do we'll do one on this one as well um, and then we have the new um, Diego, uh, and I'm going to, Cuyano? I don't, I'm not sure how to say that in Spanish, actually. Cuyano? No, that doesn't sound right. Um, Encyclopedia of Aircraft Modeling Techniques, painting number three. This one is on painting, just painting, period. So kind of like the, the big enchilada, the previous ones have been on cockpits and uh, some weathering techniques, I think, and st such. But uh, all right, is that is that all the books that were in there? Black and white weathering magazine, that, and uh, some little insert things, which I won't go 
in two bit. All right, so that's good. All right, moving on. Next, we have a much simpler box to open from Stevens, I believe. They stick with the conventional box. Has a lid on top, a couple of incisions, and you're done. Just saying, this is, this is how it's done. See, some paper. And voila, we have a PLA Type 62 light tank. Now, maybe it's just me, but the Type 62 is another tank in World of Tanks. Now, granted, it's you know a major tank from the time period and so forth. Wouldn't leave it out of the tank mix when you're making tanks. But it just it seems weird to me that all these tanks have previously, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of these tanks haven't been available before. And then the game comes out, and suddenly, like there, are all these companies are releasing all these tanks like full speed. So. Uh, Maybe they're just trying to take advantage of the new interest in, in by gamers slash new modelers of, of these types of vehicles, but uh, or tanks in this case. But it does look it does look, it does look nice. So uh, that one is definitely available for a review build project or something as well. Uh, I don't remember asking for that one actually because I usually have to request specific things from them. But maybe I did because it was an armor piece. I just said send it, send all armor. All right, so I believe this one is actually a new company. Uh, yep, it is. This is from Hong Model, that's sent direct overseas. Well, actually, it was sent through, I think it was sent through um, their rep here in the United States. Because, uh, yeah, it was sent through industrial, yeah. Oh, no, actually, no, this was sent from overseas. This was sent direct, never mind. Never mind. I think they just got my address from the guy here locally guy in the United States. So this is their new uh, uh, Zoo, or Zis Zoo, I don't know how you say that in, in Russian, Z-S-U obviously, but uh, 23 4M M2, and uh, cool looking vehicle. Um, this is the, uh, not like the Terminator, what, this, has, this has the code name too, doesn't it? I can't remember what the code name is though. So, um, and maybe that's a NATO code name, but anyway, so. Uh, very interesting new model from them. Uh, it says H14 plus photo etch, brass included. Um, much plastic, green, much green plastic. We will definitely do an unboxing of that. Also available for a build project slash thing. And when I say that, you guys are, I mean, you're welcome to contact me if you have specific uh, ideas. I uh, can't say that we'll always approve said ideas. You might just say, I'll do an inbox, and we'll be like, no, we require more than an inbox. Sorry. All right, from IBG model, they've got a new Toldy One Hungarian light tank. Ironically, just added to the world of tanks last week. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm telling you, it's like, it's like okay, all right. Uh, this is a 170 second scale, by the way. And also a 170 second scale, a Toldy Two Hungarian light tank. Not sure if that's in the game. I know that we do have a lot of new uh, Czech tanks in the game, so I guess this would, I mean, these are Czech slash Hungarian, aren't they? Or are they not Czech? Hmm, I don't know, I don't know what the original base, I know the, the Toldi, I think, was, wasn't it? I don't know, I, I'm, not, I'm not up on Hung Hungarian, my Hungarian, proper Hungarian tank uh, history. So I believe that's it, yeah. I believe that's everything, yep. That is everything since we've got from the last time we did a Monday morning mail call on Tuesday because we did that second one, the one after the Monday one. So uh, yeah, we'll do, we'll get back to Mondays though next week. Sorry for the delay. I know some of you actually like these. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, contact me at publisher at kitmaker.net if you have interest in doing reviews for us. Uh, there you can check out the website. There's a section on the front page which I'll put up here that you can click on to get more information about how uh, to submit articles and reviews and con contribute on our sites. Um, what else? Uh, if, you, if you do armor models and you want to uh, put, put some photos in for the model of the month contest, we've got that going on through SAM Publications. Uh, I believe the December contest would just be uh, wrapping up, uh, so send your photos in before the end of the month. Um, other than that, Happy New Year, because, you know, it's going to be here before we know it. 
2016, and in 2016, we will be, uh, well, in December of 2016, uh, Armorama will be 15 years old. We'll be celebrating our 15th year uh, starting, well, we're already, we're already starting our 15th year. So, but we will be concluding our 15th year at the end of 2016, so. Um, 15 years on the internet. Yep. <laughs> we one of them old sites now. <laughs> we're, we're, we're one of those old websites. Uh, it's a bit weird, to, weird to, to comprehend, actually, thinking about it. I mean, so in some ways it seems like it's been longer than 15 years, but in other ways it seems like it was just like yesterday. So I'd like to give a big shout out and thanks to all our uh, staff who keep the site going throughout the year. Again, we're always looking for more help in that department. So if you guys uh, were watching this video and got to this end, so you're like super loyal to watch it all the way through. And uh, uh, if you're interested in helping us out with the site, not just doing uh, content contributing, but maybe even doing content management and things like that. Um, yeah, contact me at publisherkitmaker.net as well, or you can contact one of the site's uh, managing editors. Uh, Darren Baker's Armorama, Rowan Bayless is Aeroscale. Um, got some others, uh, Todd uh, Michelak is uh, Model Shipwrights, and I'm sure any of those guys would be happy to talk to you about um, doing stuff. We do uh, news reporting, which is a big key component of the sites. We rep report on all sorts of new products. Um, we do uh, review editions and article editions and things like that, as well as just community stuff. We can always use help with other aspects as well. Uh, so again, if you have ideas about something you'd like to do on the site, we're always open to hearing those ideas. Um, and, on, and on that note, I want to thank all the guys, manufacturers and vendors that sent us uh, samples for review. Uh, look for them uh, more in more detailed uh, formats uh, on the site later on down the road. And I will push on with the many, many things we have here <laughs> to send out. Although I did send out quite a bit of stuff in December. So uh, that stuff should be showing up hopefully soon. Um, Again, have a great, happy, have a happy new year, and we'll see you next time on Mail Call.